All right, welcome guys to another uh, Athletistry Technique Tips. My name is Shane Werthner and I am here today. We're going to be talking about fondue. So uh, if you've been watching up until now, we've done plié, tendu, jeté, ranjam, and now we're going into fondue. So we're going to just do fondue, the basic fondue. We won't get into anything more complicated like going on to relevé or, or fondue at 90 degrees. Uh, we'll save those for another video. But I want to just talk about the pathways that we need to use, the connections to some of the stuff that we've already done, and then how that all comes together to create a beautiful fondue. And then maybe some things that you can use uh, fondue for later on in your ballet technique that you can understand how this all connects and why we need to do this step and why it's so important to make a perfect fondue. So what we're going to do, just first of all, it's important there's a, uh, a position that we have to connect first that we haven't really talked about, and that is coup de pied. So coup de pied is a position where our pinky toe at the front is connected to our ankle bone of our standing foot, or at the back, our Achilles of our working leg is attached to the ankle of our standing leg. Now it's very important you'll notice that in both of these positions, if I'm not in a wrapped position, uh, which I'm not here, I'm in a pointed position, that my foot is fully pointed and my heel is not touching my leg. We don't want to have this alignment here. So your foot is not touching your leg, and then at the back, the toes are fully pointed away from uh, the standing leg. Okay, so if you remember back to plie, we were doing our plie tutorial. Uh, if you haven't watched that, go check it out. Uh, basically, what you're wanting to do in a, any type of plie is you're wanting to start with a rotation, and then as you rotate, your knees will go to bend. That's no different here in fondue. What we're doing that's different in fondue is that instead of staying on two feet, we would start on two feet and then plie and one of our legs is going to bend up into that coup de pied position. It's still the same feeling as in a plie with two feet though. So what you're thinking is as this leg is coming up, you're rotating the knee open and the foot is pointing into coup de pied at the same time that your standing leg is going into that plie position. Now, as we go to the back, there's something that uh, is very important as well. If you're coming from fifth, we have to remember that the foot from the fifth position into the coup de pied actually starts the same way a tendu to the backward, where that toe is going to move first in a circular movement away from the standing foot, and then that heel is going to come up into coup de pied. Okay, so if we're going into a plie now, you can see this is working this way, and we're rotating into that coup de pied position. Okay, now let's talk about the movement of the fondue, the extension of the fondue. So we have to go, everything, remember, in ballet has two opposite positions. So we're always going in one direction to then go in the other direction. If we're plieing, we're stretching up first and then bending our knees. If we're coming up, then we're bending further to come back up, okay? So if I'm going to do a fondue now, and I'm coming into this position, my feet are in fifth position, I'll take a preparation, five, six, seven, eight, I'm going to go fondue. I'm coming down with my arm into first position as I get to the base of my plie. And now from here, my heel is coming forward and I'm extending out to 45 degrees. You'll notice that my knee doesn't lift up and I don't move from the thigh. The height of my coup de pied stays the height of my leg through the entire fondue and then I close. Now as I close in from this position, I'm rotating this leg, so I'm starting to, again, starting the same way, rotating the leg, plieing both knees together, and that's bringing that leg back into coup de pied so I can go décoté. Okay, so we go devant, décoté is next. So from here, I've gone into this coup de pied position. Now I'm going to, again, rotate. So my arm has come back in to first position. Now I'm going to rotate that leg out to the side, and again, not lifting the knee, keeping the knee at the same height and extending the leg out to the side. From here, we allonge, we lift up slightly potentially, and then we're going to keep that thigh exactly where it is, and then we're coming in. So we don't want to let the thigh drop. We're not dropping this leg. We're keeping that where it is, plieing into this position. Now I'm going to turn to face the bar for this last one, although normally you would continue in that same alignment. And what we're going to do is your heel is going to stay attached at the coup de pied as your knee starts to move. So we get a good rotation through attitude as both knees stretch. And then from there, we're not bringing this knee in because that would be like closing toes first in a tendu. So what we're trying to do here is we're rotating the leg, both knees are bending, and we're bringing that leg into coup de pied. Okay? Now, what might we use a fondue for? There's lots of jumps that we do on a single leg. So for example, jeté is one. 
it's going to be very similar in movement pattern from a landing perspective. We're landing in that coup de pied. Um, Ballonet, balote, anything where we're landing on one leg and extending or um, coming in to that coup de pied position. It's going to be very similar to fondue and the fondue is going to build the strength in your legs in a slow and controlled manner so that when we're landing, we're able to control that landing from a higher, more impactful position. It's also really important for girls on point uh, because it's going to help with your point work getting up, especially when we start to do fondue on releve. Uh, and it's very good for developing that strength in your legs in a slow movement pattern so that we get to faster movement patterns, you can stay healthy and safe. If you guys have any questions about this stuff or if you uh, would like to reach out to us to get more in-depth information, remember guys, our motto is that no dancer is generic. So all of these corrections, as much as they may be the basic way to do these movements, if we do speak with you in a one-on-one -on -one basis, it's gonna be much more specific. So hope this has helped. Hope you guys have gotten something out of this and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Frappe is on its way. Can't wait to see you there. Have a great night, guys.